guys, it is Glitchless here, and today we're going to build a soccer slash football stadium for European people, soccer for American. Um, so basically, you can really interchange this with any other idea, like if you want a baseball stadium, just turn the stands to a diamond, it's really just the same thing. But, um, yeah, we're going to build a double decker, so basically one stands like sort of close to the ground, and then another deck. And then more stands, and then the actual, uh, not like roof, but like semi roof. It's gonna be an open stadium. Um, so let's get down to business. So basically, what we're gonna start out with here is just building the dimensions of the field. Um, I believe when I was completely done, it was 50 by 90. Um, originally, it was going to be 60 by 40, but then I realized, eh, it looks kind of. Rectang it looks kind of square, so they bumped it up, made more of a rectangle, more to like 90, but then it looked really skinny. Um, so what I did with the, uh, I just bumped it up, made it wider, and then I liked it at the end. What I'm, what I'm thinking, envisioning for this field, is I'm envisioning a, like, like Chelsea or Arsenal's main field, like a field you would go to. If you're watching like a D1 college game or like a Premier League La Liga game, you know those stadiums. Um, just think, think playing FIFA 20. That's kind of what I'm thinking. The stadium. And yeah, double decker. The stands. A little bit sneak peek into the next episode. The stands will be like red on the bottom layer and then blue. Um, with gray in the middle separating each seat so I mean yeah the dimensions are really like not really like key key you can do really whatever you want but if you're building a big stadium like I'm doing here uh, you kind of want the stadium to be pretty big I like the camera shake I like how I'm doing now you gotta find the middle point the middle point is of course the middle point and this is where you want the center of your your goal to be. So right here, I'm just figuring out um, where the center is. Here, if you're doing these dimensions that I'm doing, I believe 90 by 50. Um, it should be 23 on each side because um, you really or because you really want that to be like yeah. So I believe this is 23 on each side here. So yeah. Actually, this might have been 49. I counted 50, but I might have missed a few, missed a block, so probably 49 per se. Um, so yeah. Now we're building around the edge with white wool to be the like out of bounds line. I there's no white painted grass, so I had to use wool, which looks good anyways. Um, the white wool is going to be every line in your field, like. The middle line, the gold block line, the gold box line. Sorry, um, the the middle circle, the the corner kicks, everything. What I used for the um, for the goal was cobwebs instead of a big sort of hollowed out bone block box. I used bone because it looks like. It looks like the post they use on the goal. Um, it, it just looks good. And then the cobwebs, of course, for netting. You'll see in maybe, I don't know, a little bit. Coming up here as I'm building the first goal. Building these goals was not exactly hard. It was just making sure everything was symmetrical. Now, if, it's, if, if everything's symmetrical, you should be fine. And you should be... You see, I got the bone block. We're gonna see where I want the post to go. Um, I'm, at here, I was not sure if the posts go on the goal line or like sort of above. Then I realized you can't hit the side of the net from inbounds, so it's gotta go on the you know the very edge. So I built a little bit of a rectangle, rectangle box here, uh, making sure it's all linked up and ready to be assembled. And there we go. 
I sped up this clip because I really want my videos to be at least under 15 minutes. I don't want these videos to be like mega long because if they're long, well, one, not a lot of people are going to be watching for that long, and I, I want everyone to at least watch half of the video. So if the videos say 27 minutes long, that's around the same time as this video. So watching half of the video is like watching one full of mine. Like, yeah. So everybody, um, moving on into, I had to actually invite my friend to the party here, but we're actually going to be starting to make the box here. The box is filling in blocks with wool, and then now we're going to be making, or finding out where I want the penalty um, thing. I didn't know if it was outside the box or inside the box, and my friend was like, my friend Louise, Louise was telling me that it was inside the box, so I put it there, and that looks good. So now we're going to go down the other end of the field and build the other box. This, like, you gotta get completely symmetrical because if you even one block off, then, like, it's gonna look terrible. You gotta get it completely symmetrical with the other side of the field. Everything's gotta be perfectly aligned. That's why it took a little bit more time than expected on this goal. Next episode is gonna be much more straightforward. Less me running back and forth between the field um, to figure out more measurements. It's all just gonna be one layer of stands, one layer of not stands, or walkway. One layer of stands, one layer of walkway, all that jazz. And it's just gonna be sort of like me going around in a circle or rectangle ish that's what it's gonna be um, scoreboard now the thing with the scoreboard is I think it'll be like on the top of the double decker basically like maybe hanging down from the semi roof I'm not sure about that yet though but um, I actually missed one block, so if I if I didn't catch that right there in the, the goal box, I would have been mad if I didn't find it out earlier. <laughs> so let's take a minute to talk about um, what's going forward for my channel. As I told you guys in a previous video, I'm going full Minecraft, no other content. So I know some people have asking me, yo, when's PRL coming? Are you still doing PRL? When's coming? Blah, 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 blah. Um, I quit. I quit PRL because like it was just one it wasn't getting me as much views as Minecraft and two because it got so tedious like it was kind of annoying to do um I didn't necessarily shut PRL down PRL is still happening it's just not on my channel and I'm not competing because I just want to work on Minecraft work on building fleshing out creative needs instead of playing Rocket League. Um, nothing against Rocket League, I'm saying it's a great game, probably one of my top 10 games of all time, in my opinion. Uh, but I'd just rather be working on Minecraft vids than Rocket League vids. That's just my opinion. And hopefully you guys understand. I like building these for you guys and working on these creative ideas for the uh the content and for the boys you know uh more vids coming out about minecraft more role plays the role plays are really fun T terrible tom guys i have to admit thank you for terrible tom i didn't know everyone would love it that much i mean it was more like a shit and shit and giggles role play we didn't know it'd be uh, like when we started recording it we didn't know it was gonna be like this big we even got a freaking fan account shout out to you terrible tom fanboy or big boy who's been watching my vids lately you're an absolute g um uh, but yeah like terrible tom got many views even like right after death on sight came out uh death on sight 2 came out it, like barely had any views i was like wait it's death on sight you got what so then when terrible tom came out and everyone's like oh i'm gonna channel again i had like five arc vids 
on the channel, like, kind of like holding uh, Death on Sight back. Then I deleted those archivists. I did a complete channel revamp. So if you guys look at my channel right now, there are no other uh, games on there but Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft is the sole game here. So when Terrible Tom came out, everyone's like, oh, Death on Sight. I didn't see that. So that now Death on Sight went from 5 views to 33 views in 2 days. Um, Terrible Tom had like 30 views in 2 hours. I believe as we speak it has over 100 views. <laughs> now right here, I was finding out where I wanted the middle circle to be. Um, and this is just pretty easy to make. It's just a circle with a um, flat end, uh, edge to it. So, yeah. Um, middle circle is not that hard to make. I realized I a little bit messed up with the... Um, the line in the middle and now it's only a it's actually a two it's like there's two blocks in the line I didn't make it singular like if you guys see here see I looking at this and I kind of messed up I did it with two blocks kind of like this tried to make it as I tried to um sorry I'm just a little bit tired I tried to make it more I tried to cover it up is what I'm trying to say um I tried to cover it up here but I just realized, nah, screw it. Um, and I just went along with it. See what I did here at the end? I kind of added, instead of having a solid line of white wool, or solid circle of white wool in the middle, I made that more of a outline for the grass. See, I made like that, added onto it, made it bigger. I saw that it was completely solid, so I just added grass in the mid, and then white wool around the shape that I've created, and that's that's pretty much it, guys. And that's our field. Hope you guys enjoyed. This is Glitchless, and 